Okay, so now we've got a good introduction, I think, to the probabilistic and statistical ways of measuring outliers. Um, the phrase outliers is always fascinating me. As a matter of fact, it's, it's kind of in the common lexicon. There's a great book by Malcolm Gladwell called Outliers. I highly recommend it if you enjoyed or found interest in the topics we were talking about in here. But his whole point was, how do you, how do you quantify unusuality? Uh, if you pay attention to things like research studies, they're all, they're all based on outliers. Coming to work just yesterday, actually, I was listening to the news, and there was a new COVID study that was released that showed the efficacy of vaccines in 12 to 15 year old children. Those are all based on whether or not data sets appear to be meaningfully different from each other. And the differences means that one data set is considered an outlier compared to a second data set. Outlier meaning far away from each other. Outliers are a necessary part of statistics. Unfortunately, traditional stat classes kind of view them as a almost a thing to kind of look at on the side. Um, I find myself doing them constantly, especially when I do my community work. Uh, relatively recently, a former student who's now a, a hydrologist with the state of Colorado, I believe, uh, needed my help to look at um, stream flow volumes. So here's a look at the, the spreadsheets we were working together. And this student's concern was, well, how do I measure unusual stream flows based on this historical data of about 100 years? So I set up the idea of control charts. Now, a control chart is nothing more than another way of looking at either of the two statistical methods that we discussed in our videos, whether it's standard deviations or whether it's IQRs. Here I use standard deviations. But the question that we had was, well, how many standard deviations should we use? Because you can see, if you use too few standard deviations, lots of data points look like outliers. But if you use uh, too many standard deviations, you don't have quote unquote enough outliers. So what's the what's the answer? And even John Tukey, as I did my research into why do we use one and a half IQRs, even John Tukey said, well, one seems like it's too few and two seems like it's too many. We'll come back to that thought of too few and too many, which actually has to do with another topic in this course, the idea of false positives and false negatives in testing. Um, later in the course, when we get more into probability, which is where we're headed next, outliers is just a really cool topic to kind of pivot to that, uh, to that next idea. So we're about halfway through the course. I hope you've enjoyed it so far, and we'll take on the next half next.